For the first time, we're hearing the terror felt by a prominent local author the night two armed men stormed her La Jolla home. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. Steve Atkinson has the night off. Today, Jeannie Jones came face to face with one of the men accused of robbing her. 10 News reporter Bob Lawrence has the surprise that happened outside the courtroom. And he looks familiar to you? Yes. And after she answered, Jean Jones looked directly at 27-year-old Leon Powell Jr. Powell is accused of being one of two men who broke into Jones's home last October looking for jewelry. A Rolex watch, a large diamond ring, uh, many, many rings. Jones, an author of over 30 books and a food columnist, was home alone last October when she was awakened. Around midnight. A Tremendous amount of noise. The noise came from a hole punched in the wall to get into the bedroom where the jewels were. It's not the first time Jones suffered a loss. Three years ago, three men broke in, hurt a housekeeper, and stole jewelry as well. The three, however, were caught and sentenced. After Jones had testified and was dismissed, there was a short recess. But it was after that she was recalled to the stand to testify about what she saw in the hallway. If this case goes to trial, the defense is likely to argue that Jones wasn't sure that it was Powell who was in her home. After that recess, Jones, a former dancer and skater, said that body movement is something she's very familiar with. And after watching Powell in the hallway. I was rather certain after seeing him walk was definitely one of the people that was in my room. It was a DNA swab on a doorknob of the mansion that led them to Powell, who was arrested in Los Angeles. The hearing to see if he will stand trial resumes Monday. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. Powell is free on $250,000. Bailey faces eight years in prison if convicted on three felony counts. The second person in the home has not yet been caught.